everyone. My name is Erin Coles and I wanted to do a quick review of some of my favorite women-owned products for you today. So I'm in my bedroom in New York City. I get the best natural light here, so I'm actually a little washed out, but who cares? <laughs> I want to show you guys my favorite products. Also, if you hear a little noise, I live in New York. You might. <laughs> so I have been a huge fan of the company We Are Women Owned for a few years now. They've been around for a few years um, and I've had the pleasure of working with the founder Lisa Nicole Rosado this year. We have moved all of the events virtually so rather than doing in-person pop-up shopping events we've been doing virtual shopping events since the pandemic hit so that people from all over the world can shop We Are Women Owned and it's so exciting. I'm so thankful for the pandemic for that. It's been opening up some doors for more and more people to find and shop and support women-owned companies. So I have been a fan, like I said, for a while and have been to most of their pop-ups, um, not most of them, but most over the past couple years. And I wanted to share with you some of my favorite products that I purchased. So yesterday I put up a story about these candles I got from Don't Sass Me Soy, and I asked if people wanted me to do a smell test of them just to show you all what they are and what they smell like. Um, and then I just figured why not share some of my other favorite companies as well alongside these candles. So let's get started. First and foremost, I wanted to show you these earrings I have on. I am obsessed with them. I've been wearing them pretty much every day since I've got them. I just purchased them from the most recent summer 2020 virtual pop-up through We Are Women Owned. They're from this company called Common Good Clay. And so they make clay earrings and I think it's every season where they make a new batch, like a new full style of them. Um, and these specifically, I think they come in like three different, um, let's say, oh my gosh, styles. So one of them is this with this small and large one on the bottom and it's like up close towards my ear. There's another one with a small and large one that like falls a little further down um, and there's like, you know, the metal hook that goes in your ear is further down. And there's one with like just this large one that sits right on your ear. Um, they come in, these particular ones come in white and green and this like really cool like matte shade of red. Um, but they have so many other styles and I would definitely suggest checking them out. Like I'm obsessed, I cannot wait to buy more and to gift more, like they're incredible. All right, so that's company number one. Let me start with another, or continue with another jewelry brand that I love. Um, this is Malicious Jewels. So I got this at an in-person pop-up, I believe last summer, and I'm obsessed with these. So this company, what they do is they actually have artists from India hand make all of these products. Malicious Jewels will like essentially get a bunch of different designers um, from India together, jewelry designers, and then sell those products really really cool this one in particular up there like in the box comes with this little tiny awesome little holder it's so pretty look at that design um and these are the earrings oh i love these oh my gosh aren't they so pretty oh my goodness i love these um well you can't see them next to these earrings but they're okay that didn't work very well <laughs> I'm clearly I've never done this before, but I love these because, um, you know, my grandmother is Portuguese and this is a very common sort of this like blue and white is a very common pattern on a lot of the like porcelain and clay. Um, and so I mentioned that to the founder and she was like, yeah, that's the same in India. It's very common. And, uh, it's kind of like a through line of a lot of cultures. And I just thought they were so beautiful. So I just had to get them worn them so many times um, and this is just one small example they have so many other incredible pieces of jewelry I would definitely suggest checking them out malicious jewels okay moving on all right so I have two sets of candles to show you today I am going to show you the ones that I got just yesterday from don't sass me soy first and then I'm going to go smell once from gleam living which I bought earlier in this pop-up I love fall candles and so does my husband drew so I just like had to get a new slew of fall candles because we've already burned them all. So I'm gonna smell each of these. This first one from Don't Sass Me Soy is called Harvest Moon. So all of them come like this in this little glass bottle with the 
um, name of the company up here, and then the flavor here, hashtag. Okay, so Harvest Moon. Let's smell this one. Oh, it smells like, oh my gosh. See, I've never done this before. I don't know how to describe the smells, but I'm gonna try. It definitely, this like is quintessentially fall. It smells like fall. And I, it smells kind of like pumpkin-y and spicy and so warm. All right, that's the best I can do. <laughs> but it's delicious, like super delicious. Okay, next one, let's see. Okay, this one, <laughs> Basic Bitch, fun name. So clever, these names. All right, oh my gosh. Okay, so this one is like, you know, very different from Harvest Moon. It's like a darker smell. It almost is like, I'm so proud of this. It almost smells like like a thick fall bread baking in the oven that you would want to eat. It is definitely also like quintessentially fall. And there's like a little sweetness to it, like an after smell of sweetness. I hope this is helpful for you guys because I don't know how to smell these right. Okay, let's see the next one I'm gonna do is pumpkin chai. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna smell exactly like it says. Oh yeah, exactly like it says. This is like pumpkin and chai spice together in a candle. Mmm, delicious. Oh, oh my gosh. I think I'm just gonna put these, like light these all simultaneously <laughs> and smell them together because they're delicious. Okay, this next one, cider donut. I'm a sucker for apple cider donuts, by the way. So good, okay. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> this one is so apple-y. This is definitely like predominantly an apple smell with a little bit of like, it's not, but it's not like bright apple smell. It's like warm apple smell, like an apple pie. Oh, delicious. Cider donut. Okay, apple cedar. Okay, let's smell this guy. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, this is like, oh, maybe a weird thing to say, but it sort of smells like a more feminine version of a male cologne. And it's like, oh my gosh, this one definitely is the most, let's say like, it smells the most like something natural that you would find in nature. Mm, I don't even, <laughs> I'm so bad at describing these. Oh, it's delicious though. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. They're so good. They're just all so good and they're all so different. So like, I feel like depending on what mood I'm in, they're all gonna make sense for a day. Okay, so this one is called Ghoul Gang. It's kind of fun. It's like more of a Halloween-y candle. It's black. It's really cute. Okay. Ooh. I don't even know how to describe this. It's definitely like a darker smell. <laughs> it's a dark candle. <laughs> what am I smelling? What is it? It's not pine, but it's like sort of close to the, oh my gosh, I can't even describe it. This is, this is a really interesting smell. Not bad interesting, like good interesting. I just don't know how to describe it, but it's really, really cool. And it's it's like, yeah, I don't even know. It smells really good. <laughs> Guys, I'm so bad at this. All right, well, that's Ghoul Gang. Okay, I have another set of candles from Gleam Living, but I'm gonna wait a second and give my nose a rest and go to these shoes. Okay, so these are some shoes that I purchased, um, I think last summer at an in-person pop-up and they're from a company called In A Groove. The coolest thing about these, okay, so let me just talk about the shoes, is that the heel is like a super good length and it's a block heel, so it's actually pretty easy to walk in. I hate heels, my feet hate heels, so like having a shoe like this, super easy to walk in. Um, and the strap is really, really nice, It's and they're really cushy too. Um, can see they're a little scuffed I'm sorry because I've been worn them 
a lot. Um, but the really cool thing and the reason these shoes are these shoes and the way that they are is that these little strappies here are interchangeable. Okay, so you see these little grooves in a groove on the bottom of the shoes. You these you actually can take these off and replace them with different patterns and different styles. Um, and if you don't feel like actually having a style on, you can just wear them with this plain black strap, which I've done several times. So let me show you how easy it is to put these on a shoe in some of the styles that I have. Um, I'll show you two of the styles first. So I have this animal print, which is really, really cute. And then I've got this. This was the original one I bought because I just love these. It's like floral pattern. And then of course you saw there's this one right here that's like studded. Okay, so I think, okay, so all you do is you literally, this is, you slide it over the shoe like this. Oops, I put it on the wrong way. <laughs> you slide it over the shoe like this. And then these little elastic parts in the bottom just go right into those grooves on the bottom of the shoe. And then they sit very nicely right in there. And then the new cover's on. I mean, how cool. So comfortable too. Love them. Okay, the last thing I have to show you are these candles from Gleam Living. So I purchased a bunch of these petite sizes. Um, you can see the logo of the company. Sorry, it's sunny. Logo of the company there. Uh, it says the size of the candle petite and then the flavor on the bottom, Nutcracker is this one. Um, and these ones are more, they're fall scents and winter scents. So these ones I think are a little more on the winter side versus the Don't Sass Me Soy candles, which are super fall. Um, so let me smell each of these and I'm going to save my favorite one for last. So this one is Nutcracker. Let's smell. Oh, it's like sweet. <laughs> it smells like, it smells like a sweet, warm candy is what this smells like. Oh, and this one, you can choose whether you want a wood wick, which sort of feels like a little fireplace or if you want a cotton wick and you can really customize them um, in that way however you want. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I freaking love candles. All right, the next one is Mary. Oh, okay, sun, too much sun, <laughs> but it's called Mary. Mm, this one you can definitely smell a little pine in here warm wintry pine oh, it smells like mary it smells like christmas in a little candle oh, so good i love the holidays okay this last one is called frosted pines this one is my favorite from from gleam living oh. this one smells like pine trees it smells like if you're going to cut down your own christmas tree and you're in a pine tree forest this is what this smells like so good. It's not overpowering like maybe a pine tree forest would actually be, but it's like, you know, if you if you have a real Christmas tree in your house or you like snap one of the like pine leaves and smell it, this is it smells like that. Um, but like there's a there's a little more to it, a little extra warmth. I mean that's the thing, like all of these candles, um, don't sass me soy and gleam living all feel and smell so like warm and cozy. And I just love, I mean, that's what I love about like the fall and the holidays is that warm and cozy feeling. And I want my candles to smell like that and all of them do. Okay, so that is it. Those are some of the products that I've recently purchased at We Are Women Owned Pop-Ups. Um, we have a Latina owned pop-up coming up this month, September, 2020. We have a holiday pop-up coming up for the holidays. I'm pretty sure it's gonna start in November. Um, the applications are gonna be open super, super soon. Um, I would definitely suggest checking both of them out when they're up because it's a really, really good way to get your products if you're a woman-owned company or your services in front of a lot of people, especially now that everything is virtual and online, it's extra good. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.